Hello guys! In this video, I will be showing you how to make a weather station based on BMP180 and BME280 with OLED display. Let's get started. At the heart of the module is the next generation digital pressure and temperature sensor manufactured by Bosch. The BME280 is a successor to sensor like BMP180, BMP085, or BMP183. This precision sensor can measure relative humidity from 0 to 100% with 3% accuracy. Barometric pressure from 300 PA to 1100 HPA with 1 HPA absolute accuracy and temperature from negative 40 to 85 degrees celsius with 1 degree celsius accuracy. The pressure measurements are so precise with low altitude noise of 0 0.25 meters. You can even use this as an altimeter with 1 meter accuracy. The module comes with LM6206 3.3 volt regulator and I2C voltage level translator so that you can use it with an 3.3 volt or 5 volt logic microcontroller like Arduino without a worry. The module features a simple I2C interface which can be easily interfaced with any microcontroller of your choice. The default I2C address of the BME280 module is 0 by 76 hexadecimal and can be changed to 0 by 77 hexadecimal with the solder jumpers beside the chip. Let's hook up the BME280 module up to the Arduino. The connections are fairly simple. It starts by connecting the VN pin to the 5 volt output of the Arduino and connect the ground to the ground. The remaining two pins which is SDA and SCL needs to be connected to the I2C pin of the microcontroller of your choice. I will post the pins in the video description of this video. To install the library, go to Tools and click Manage Libraries. Wait for the library manager to download libraries, index, and update list of the installed libraries. Communicating with BME280 module is a bunch of work. Fortunately, Adafruit BME280 library was written to hide away all those complexities so that we can use a simple commands to read the temperature, humidity, and barometric pressure. After install the library, go to File, Examples, and look for Adafruit BME280 and click the BME test. Before uploading, make sure to check your board and ports before uploading. Then click Upload. After uploading, click your serial monitor. But wait, the serial monitor issued an error says that BME280 test could not find a valid BME280 sensor, check wiring, address, sensor ID, which means we mess up in one step. Since we are using a I2C module and we are sure that we connect the I2C connection in the Arduino properly and the serial monitor states such an error, the problem can be found in the void setup. In this line, you can find the status is equal to BME dot begin parenthesis. In the parenthesis, add 0 by 76 as the default I2C serial address, which I talked about earlier. In some I2C devices, this is not necessary because the library was automatically searching for the address of the module, but some isn't. This library is one of them, so just put the default serial address and click the upload button again. Again, click your serial monitor. And we will see that it prints the temperature, humidity, pressure, and current altitude in my surroundings. Next, I will be using this 128 by 64 monochrome OLED display. To display those previously mentioned values and to be more convenient. 
and this BMP-180 which is the predecessor of BME-280. And this DHT-22 since the BMP-180 cannot measure humidity in the air, just temperature. So let's hook up those previously mentioned modules to the breadboard. By the way, if you're interested in recreating and improving my code, you can find it always in the video description together with the schematic for the connections. After we connect everything according to this finalized diagram, it's time to plug the Arduino into the computer. Again, I already created a code for these changes. All you need to do is to download the code and the schematic that you can find always in the video description. After you download the code and connect everything according to my schematic, click Upload. Okay, on this part, it seems that we have two distinct values to each other. The BMP-180 shows that the temperature is almost 34 degrees Celsius, and the BME-280 shows 36.5. The humidity in DHT-22 shows 71%, and in BME280, it's 59%. The pressure in BMP180 shows 1014 HPA, while the other one is 1009. The altitude on both module shows a really distinct values to each other, but there is only one way to find out. This is the current temperature in my city. The temperature is 32 degrees, but it feels like 38 degrees. The humidity in my area is 73%, but the pressure is in 1010 MB. This is the current values in my area. The BMP180 is the close on the temperature since the value is 33.9, but in actual temperature, the BME280 is the closest since it shows almost 38 degrees, which we can compare to the weather site. The humidity in BMP-180 is almost 70%, which is the closest when we compare it in the site. And the BME-280 shows a low value of 53.3%. But believe me, I trust more the value showing in the BME-280. If you're asking why, because in this day, while filming this video, the humidity doesn't seem to be that high, since the air blowing on my fan is so hot, so I choose more in BME280 value. Next, the pressure in BMP180 is really high. That shows that 1013 or let's say 1014 HPA or hectopascal pressure unit compared to the BME280 that only shows 1009 HPA. That is really close to the right current pressure if we're going to compare it in the values in the website. In altitude, the BMP-180 shows that my current altitude proportional to the sea level is 12.4 meters and the BME-280 shows that I am almost 35 meters. Since calculating the current altitude has something to do with the current pressure, I will be choosing the BME-280 as the right value since it has all the previously mentioned values closest if we were going to use the weather site as a reference. And because BME280 is the successor of the BMP180, which means this module is more integrated than the predecessor. But nevertheless, I hope that you like this video. If so, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, and I will see you next time.